For decades, astronomers believed that protoplanetary disks, the swirling rings of gas and dust around young stars, lasted only about 10 million years before being dissipated by the star's intense radiation. This meant that planets had a very limited time frame to form before their building materials vanished into space. But now, thanks to NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, this long-standing assumption has been completely overturned. Researchers have found a protoplanetary disk that has survived for a staggering 30 million years, lasting three times longer than previously thought. In this video, we will explore the details of this incredible discovery, break down the science behind planetary formation, and discuss why this could change the way we search for habitable worlds. For a long time, astronomers thought they had a solid grasp of how planetary systems form. When a new star is born, the leftover gas and dust from the process coalesce into a rotating disk around it. Over time, the particles within the disk clump together to form planets, moons, asteroids, and other celestial bodies. However, this process was believed to be constrained by time. High energy radiation from the young star was thought to clear out the remaining gas and dust within 10 million years, cutting off planet formation and leaving behind whatever had already formed. However, a research team from the University of Arizona has now observed something that defies these expectations. Using Webb, they studied a low-mass star named J0446b, located 267 light-years away in the constellation Columba. To their surprise, they found that its protoplanetary disk has remained intact for 30 million years, three times longer than previously thought possible. This means that the conditions necessary for planet formation have been maintained far beyond the expected timeline. J0446b is a low-mass star, only one-tenth the mass of the Sun. This is crucial because smaller stars are far more common in the universe than Sun-like stars. If long-lived disks are typical around such low-mass stars, it means that planet formation could be occurring in many more places than previously believed. Instead of a narrow 10 million year window for planets to form, the timeline may be much more flexible, allowing for the formation of a greater variety of planets. Webb's observations also confirm that the disk surrounding this star is still rich in primordial gases like hydrogen and neon. If the disk had already evolved into a secondary debris disk formed from asteroid collisions, these gases would no longer be present. Their continued existence confirms that the disk is still in an active, planet-forming state. This means that planets have far more time to grow, migrate, and settle into stable orbits than previously thought. This discovery could also explain unusual planetary systems like TRAPPIST-1, which features seven Earth-sized planets tightly packed around a small red dwarf star. Scientists have long struggled to explain how such an arrangement could form, but if protoplanetary disks can last much longer than expected, it would give these planets extra time to form, move, and settle into their current orbits. This study, the first of its kind to provide detailed chemical analysis of a long-lived disk, forces astronomers to rethink planetary formation theories. If planet formation is a much longer and more gradual process than previously believed, what does that mean for the types of planets that can form? The traditional model of planetary formation, known as core accretion, suggests that planets form from tiny dust grains that gradually stick together, building up into larger and larger bodies. However, this process was always thought to be time-limited, as the disk providing the necessary materials was believed to disperse relatively quickly. With the discovery of J0446b's 30-million-year-old protoplanetary disk, this theory now faces serious revisions. One of the biggest challenges in planetary formation has been explaining how gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn could form before their protoplanetary disks vanished. Since massive planets take much longer to accumulate their thick atmospheres 
Many scientists doubted whether they could form quickly enough. But if protoplanetary disks can survive for 30 million years or more, then gas giants may have much more time to develop, making their formation much more likely. This discovery also has profound implications for rocky planets like Earth. A longer-lived disk allows for a more stable environment for rocky planet formation, giving planets time to cool and develop atmospheres. Increased collection of volatiles, such as water, carbon, and nitrogen. Key ingredients for life. Planetary migration, where planets can move into more stable orbits over time, increasing their potential for habitability. Additionally, long-lived disks provide ideal conditions for planetary migration. Planets often don't stay in the locations where they originally formed. Instead, they shift closer or farther from their host star over time. If protoplanetary disks exist for longer than expected, this gives planets more time to find stable orbits, explaining why we see so many exoplanets in unusual configurations, like hot Jupiters, that orbit extremely close to their stars. Perhaps the most exciting consequence of this discovery is its impact on the search for habitable worlds. The longer a protoplanetary disk lasts, the greater the chances that its planets will develop the right conditions for life. For a planet to be habitable, it needs liquid water, a stable atmosphere, time for biological processes to develop. If protoplanetary disks around low-mass stars last longer than expected, then planets forming in these environments have a better chance of developing atmospheres and retaining liquid water. Smaller stars like Trappist, one also evolve much more slowly than stars like the Sun, meaning their planets could remain habitable for billions of years. Another major takeaway is that low-mass stars vastly outnumber sun-like stars in the universe. If planets around these stars have more time to form, then the number of potentially habitable worlds could be far greater than we previously imagined. Missions, including ongoing web exoplanet surveys, will analyze planetary atmospheres to search for signs of life, like oxygen, methane, and water vapor. With its unparalleled ability to detect these elements, Webb may soon provide the first evidence of alien life. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into NASA's latest discovery and what it means for planet formation and the search for habitable worlds. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting space content. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think this discovery could change the way we search for alien life? Stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you in the next video.